Mukulai, or Mukali, or Mukulai was one of the greatest generals under Genghis Khan. Biography Mukali served Genghis' enemy in his early days but was captured. Genghis rewarded the defiant Mukali for his integrity and wisdom, and afterwards was a loyal companion. During the coronation of Genghis Khan, Mukali was given the command of the Third Tumen and control over the Eastern Mingans. In 1211, he participated in the Battle of the Badger Mouth, the decisive battle in the first stage of the Mongol Jin War, after Genghis Khan decided to go to war with the Khwarezmad Empire. He gave control of all Turco-Mongol forces to Mukali and gave him the title of king, a largely ceremonial title. Despite Genghis Khan having most of the main Turco-Mongol forces taken away and sent to the west, Mukali was able to subdue most of northern China with his small force of around 20,000 men. Although some historians give figures of between 40,000 and 70,000 men, in 1217 Mukali attacked the province of Hebei as well as northern Shandong and northern Shaanxi. This was an important agricultural area, which Mukali had largely subdued by 1219. In 1220 Mukali turned his attention to the rest of Shandong. Four towns were captured, but the hard-pressed Jin managed to hold on elsewhere in the province. Mukali's last campaign began in 1222. He crossed the Wei River and attacked south, capturing towns that had already been plundered by a previous Mongol general Samaka, who suddenly disappeared from Mongol history. Meanwhile, the Jin launched a counter-attack into the province of Shanzi. Mukali swiftly raced to the area, the Jin fled without giving battle. Besieging another town, Mukali became seriously ill and died shortly thereafter in 1223. On his deathbed, Mukali declared with pride that he had never been defeated. After his death, Genghis Khan gave command to Mukali's son Birdlu. In seven years of campaigning in northern China, he had reduced the Jin Empire to the province of Henan. He had proven himself to be an excellent general who was indefatigable in his efforts to serve his master, Genghis Khan. Legacy after his death, descendants of Mukali served the great Khan of the Mongols, especially those of the Toluid lineage. A few of his descendants, such as Antong and Beiju, later became prominent officials in the Confucian fashion of the Yuan dynasty founded by Kublai Khan in China. Retainers of the Toluid Hulagu participated in the conquest of Persia, then called Molai, and later founded the Jalayarid dynasty which ruled from Baghdad after the collapse of the Hulaguid Ilkhanate. A statue of Mukali, together with Bo Orchu, flanks the statue of Genghis Khan in Sukhbator Square in Ulan Bata. For more information on Mukali's northern China campaign and much else, see update September 2015.